Hi, this is Yvette from inspiredwellness.org. I cannot let the month of February, which is Heart Health Month, go by without me speaking about how lupus can affect the heart. Heart disease is a major complication of lupus, and back in 2003, lupus attacked my heart. Heart disease is now a leading cause of death among people with lupus. There are certain tests that you can take to find out if your heart condition is caused by lupus. One would be a blood test, um, chest x-rays, electrocardiogram, and an echocardiogram. So how does lupus affect the heart? The most common way that lupus affects the heart is through inflammation of the pericardium. And that is the sac that surrounds the heart. The symptoms of pericarditis are a sharp pain in your chest and shortness of breath. Pericarditis usually does not damage your heart's ability to function because it does not directly involve the heart tissue. However, inflammation that is chronic can scar the heart tissue, which can interfere with the heart's ability to pump blood. Um, another way is that lupus can cause inflammation of the my myocardium, which is the muscle tissue of your heart. The symptoms are chest pain and unexplained rapid or irregular heartbeat. Myocardium. Carditis can be caused by viral, viral, excuse me, bacterial and fungal infections. Because lupus itself creates an added risk for develop, developing infections, especially if you are taking certain immunosuppressive drugs, that could be an increased risk from uh, myocarditis. And heart failure can occur if your heart does not have the strength to pump blood um, to the tissues and organs. Another, another, another way is um, the endocardium is the tissue that lines the inner walls of the heart and the valves, and that separates the heart's different chambers. Lupus can cause inflammation of the endocardium. So lupus endocarditis causes the surface of the heart, um, of the heart valve to thicken or develop lesions, and these lesions can become infected. Um, and that is a condition called bacterial endocarditis, and the lesions can actually break off and travel through the brain to form a clot. So both of these things are potentially very dangerous for someone who has lupus, or well, anyone, but, you know, if you have lupus, you are at a higher risk for this. Um, another way that lupus affects the heart is um, coronary artery disease. And the coronary artery moves, they move blood from the heart. And when plaque forms from fatty molecules and other materials that may attach itself to the walls of the blood vessel, um, that makes blood vessels narrow, restricts the blood flow. So this condition is also known as atherosclerosis, which is what I was diagnosed with. A decrease in blood flow can cause angina, which is chest pains. However, if the blood... Um, flow to your heart is interrupted either by plaque or by a blood clot that has developed when plaque breaks off, you could be at risk of a heart attack. So when you have lupus, you are at an increased risk for coronary artery disease. This is partially because people with lupus have more risk factors, which may include hypertension from kidney, from kidney disease, elevated cholesterol levels, type 2 diabetes, and this could also be caused from the steroid medication use. Also, an inactive sedentary lifestyle due to fatigue and joint problems or muscle pain. However, even after taking these risk factors into account, people with lupus are more likely to develop atherosclerosis. So how can you reduce your chance of heart attacks and other complications from coronary artery disease? Well, one is to exercise, eat a healthy diet filled with nutrient-dense foods and foods that are alive. The more colorful, the better and avoid fried foods, processed foods, and sugar because as you all know, sugar causes inflammation in the body. Um, and also control, try to control your lupus activity. Um, talk with your doctor about reducing or stopping the steroid medication and putting you on something else, maybe like Plaquenil, depending on how bad your symptoms are. <clears throat> and like I said before, eating nutrient-dense foods, exercise, don't smoke. If you smoke, I highly recommend that you stop smoking. Um, if you have high blood pressure, see your doctor to reduce it. And also try to reduce your daily stress levels with meditation or other stress-reducing techniques. And if you're a woman and you're taking birth control pills, um, try to change your birth control methods because 
there's a lot of birth control pills that can cause issues with your heart. That's all I have to share today with you folks. If you like this video, please go to my YouTube channel, which is Yvette LaBoy Inspired Wellness. Um, and if you get on my YouTube channel, please give me a thumbs up. And while you're there, subscribe to my channel for up-to-date health and wellness tips. And if you are interested in my free breakthrough session, go to my contact page on my website, which is inspiredwellness.org, or you can visit me on Facebook, Inspired Wellness. I am Yvette LaBoy. I am from Inspired Wellness Nutrition and Transformational Lifestyle Coaching, inspiredwellness.org. At Inspired Wellness, we inspired women to get healthy and transform their lives because we want you to become that fabulous diva you were born to be. See you next week.